this video I wanted to talk through the method of conditional formatting within text tables. I've set up a common situation here in Tableau where we're using measure names and measure values to produce a text table. What we'd like to do is colour based on individual measure names to get a, a different colour scheme per, per measure. What you'll notice is if I drag measure values over here, then the colour scheme, let me just do that again and control drag, the colour scheme will be very dark for these sales values because the values are picked up across the whole table, not just dependent on the measure name. What we'd really like to do is have the, the measure name influence in this colour scheme and have three legends down here, all with different colour schemes and, and min-max values. That's something that if the measure names was exposed through a calculated field, we could perhaps set up a calculated field to do. But that's not an option. So um, I'm going to talk you through a, a new way of doing that. Or, or not a new way of doing that, but a way that's actually been around for, for quite a while. But it's, uh, it's a way that I, th I think uh, a lot of the Tableau community doesn't know. So let's set up a new sheet. I'm going to drag my category onto the rows again, exactly like that. And I'm also going to set up a couple of helper fields. So a new calculated field, and I'm going to call the first one the name one, and I'm going to give it the value one. Doesn't matter too much what it's called. These are just the, the titles I tend to give them. I'm also going to call it, call a new one, one title. So let's start building up a view. These these two fields are going to help me because they're going to turn the what were discrete values into continuous values. So I'm going to add this on as a attribute and change the marks to text. I'm going to shrink down this field. And because this now is acting as a attribute, we get all the single values in one long row centered in the middle which is exactly what we want because now we can drag the sales onto the text mark and drag the color of sales to the text mark and get an individual color for this we can do the same if I hold down right click and drag now to the columns I'm going to get this drop field I'm going to choose attribute so this is going to save me with the uh, the two-step process I had to do before of dragging then changing it to attribute. So exactly the same as we did before. Attribute. I'm going to come down here and see the the new shelf on my marks for this second attribute. I'm going to replace the profit just here. And um, I can do that again. Right click, drag choose an attribute, go to the third option and I'm going to use the shipping cost this time, drag that onto text, drag that onto colour. You can see we've got three different colour schemes. I can change those colour schemes, so for this one I could select a um, blue to red divergent. For this one, I might want to select a orange to blue diverger. Still a couple of issues. I mean, we haven't got the the headers in there. We can we could fix that using this title. So I'm going to again just hold down right click, drag and drag this. First of all, after my first column, the first attribute. And I'm going to select attribute again. Then I'm going to right click and use a dual axis. This will move the title up here. Then I'm going to come back to my first attribute. You'll see that um, the values are blank on this one. So I'm just going to copy what I had in my first one. So the sum of sales, the colour of sales. Just drag that onto text so we've got a duplicate there. Then I'm going to clear out my original. We don't need that. 
so they're not duplicated. Then I'm just going to edit that bottom axis just to push those completely off the page so we don't see them anymore. I'm also going to remove the tick marks and I'm going to remove the tile. So that's completely cleared what's at the bottom. It shifted whatever was on that axis out of the way. Now we can clean up this axis, remove the tick marks, give it a name, call it sales. There we go, this is starting to turn into a bit more of a, a nicer table. So I can just use the title again, change, make sure that's an attribute. I can then make it dual axis, that'll link it with the column before. Clear out this, move to the title, profit and text, edit this axis, make sure these are pushed well out of the way, remove the title, make sure this says profit. remove the tick marks on here. Okay, exactly the same process. We'll do it a third time with shipping costs. So we drag the title over here, make sure it's an attribute. I forget to do that right click. Change it to dual axis. Change the shipping cost over here. clear out this version. Of course I've been going through clearing out the, those old versions. If you were doing this from scratch you perhaps wouldn't bother setting those up and move straight to the title version. Let's just make sure as I'm talking we've cleared that out. And cleared those down. Perfect. And then in this version this is shipping cost. on and on. Perfect, so we've got our nice text table. But there's no reason why you can't take this even further. We could, for instance, use our sales and turn this into a bar by replacing sales on the title. Change the text, change the type to bar. That's exactly what we need. We could turn the profit into a circle type by dragging profit over onto our title just here. Change this to a circle. Got a different way of, uh, of showing that now. If we want to change our shipping cost to a, to a bar type, then uh, we could come down here. Maybe not a bar, let's go for a, uh, a highlight box up the size of that. Make sure our labels are in the middle and that we allow marks to overlap. And then I'm just going to change this to always be white. And there you go. You've got a way of producing varied cross tabs in very different many text tables. Text tables, different chart types using different measures without using the, the names and measure names and measure values. I think that the downside is this is the white space down here as well as the white space up there when you've got no, no titles. The other downside is it's obviously a lot longer to set up. But uh, I hope you found this tip useful. Check back for, for more video tips later.